This is Matt, and these are the Metal Vinyl releases for February 2024. Starting with February 2nd, expect a live album from Danish thrash band Artillery. This is Raw Live in Copenhagen to be released by Mighty Music. Vinyl variant will be Classic Black in limited edition. Also, a lyric video was released for the live version of The Challenge. It's a great choice of tracks from their Terror Squad album, but also fantastic performance. You can watch that at the Mighty Music YouTube channel. So I'm actually a bit curious about this one. I was a fan of the first few albums way back when, but it's been a while. So yeah, I'm going to check into this one. Also on February 2nd, we'll get the latest EP from American death grind band Ghoul. This is Noxious Concoctions to be released by Tank Crimes. Final variants will be Orange Crush as well as Black and Bone Mix with Swamp Green Splatter. There's also a Die Hard Edition in Swamp Green Vinyl, which also includes a cocktail book and a swizzle stick. Also, a visualizer video for the title track is out currently. It's fun, it's chaotic, it's a bit thrashy. You'll find that at the Tank Crimes YouTube channel. So I haven't really explored this band much, but I know they have a very devoted fan base. Either way, I'll give it a shot on streaming services when it comes out. And also on February 2nd will be the seventh studio album from Canadian hard rock band Striker. This is Ultra Power, to be released by Record Breaking Records. Final variant is currently unannounced, but it will be out on the format for release day, according to the band. Also, three music videos are available for the tracks Circle of Evil, The Best of the Best of the Best, and Give It All. Of the three, I'd say check out Circle of Evil first, but, you know, check them all out at the Striker YouTube channel. So there's definitely some playing around with the whole AOR hair metal thing going on here, but also some heaviness at times. However, I think there's enough here for me to give this one a chance when it drops. We'll see how it goes from there. Moving on to February 9th, look out for the third studio album from American thrash band Morbid Saint. This is Swallowed by Hell to be released by High Roller Records. Final variants will be black at 400 copies, transparent red at 400 copies, and orange marbled at 200 copies. Also, music video for the title track is available. Digging it with its classic speedy thrash riffing and angry vocals, but with a technical edge. If interested, you can watch it at the RU Morbid YouTube channel. That's the letter R, the letter U, and then Morbid. So I'm really digging this track and will be motivated to hear the rest of the album on release day. Also on February 9th, expect the second studio album from American black metal band Holder. This is Versus and Oath to be released by 20 Buck Spin. Vinyl variants will be Classic Black as well as Brown Silver Bone Tricolor Merge with Black and Gold Splatter. Evergreen Black Mustard Tricolor Galaxy, and Silver Brown Merge. Also, a music video for the track Vessel of Suffering is available. Find that at the 20 Buck Spin Label YouTube channel. So it's decent, but it's not grabbing me. Still, I'll check out the album when it streams. Moving on to February 16th will be the 8th studio album from Norwegian experimental metal band Ishan. This is Ishan, to be released by Candlelight Records. Also, in addition to a metal version, there will be an orchestral version of this album as well, released the very same day. Final variants will be one black and one white for the metal version, and black and white with black splatter for the orchestral version. Also, music videos are available for Pilgrimage to Oblivion, Twice Born, and The Distance Between Us. You can check all those out at the Ishan Vivo YouTube channel. So Ishan is always a bit of a grab bag of styles, in this case black metal, orchestral bits, jazz moments, and even some dramatic themes. Not really my thing, but if you're already an Ishan fan, you already know you're getting this. Moving on to February 23rd, expect the seventh studio album from American death metal band Mortiskulled. This is Creation Undone, to be released by Peaceville Records. Final variants will be black as well as green. There's also a lyric video out there for We Rise, We Fall. You can find it at the Peaceville Records YouTube channel. So the single is decent enough. Not excited about the stilted vocal delivery, but the track is certainly heavy and blasty and with a good main riff. Either way, the album is probably worth checking out when it drops. Also on February 23rd, we'll get the eighth studio album from British heavy metal artist Blaze Bailey. This is Circle of Stone to be released by Blaze Bailey Recordings. Final variants will be Sky Blue as well as Kelly Green. 
There'll also be a special edition in glow-in-the-dark green vinyl along with a CD, a t-shirt, two patches, a wristband, and an A4 poster, with some of those items signed by Blaze himself. Also, a music video for the title track is available. You should check that out at the Blaze Bailey official YouTube channel. So the single is actually really good. Blaze's vocals are incredibly strong and engaging. So much so that I'm looking forward to hearing the entire album. Gotta say, pleasant surprise here. And also on February 23rd will be the fifth studio album from Spanish heavy metal band Iron Curtain. This is Savage Dawn to be released by Dying Victims Productions. Final variant will be Classic Black, Tricolor, or Gold. Also a visualizer video for Gypsy Rocker as well as one for Evil as Everywhere is available. Really digging both tracks, but Gypsy Rocker is the standout track of the two. But check out both at the Dying Victims Productions YouTube channel. So, really solid trad metal here with just the right amount of aggression. A little pricey at $54 US when pre-ordered from the label, so I'm hoping it gets some distro stateside and the price comes down because I'm definitely interested in this one. And also on February 23rd, look out for the second studio album from American epic doom metal band Stygian Crown. This is Funeral for a King to be released by Cruz del Sur Music. Vinyl variants will be black at an unspecified number of copies, sand at 200 copies, violet at 200 copies, and clear at 100 copies. Also, a visualizer video for the title track, as well as a lyric video for Bushido are out. Funeral for a King is a solid instrumental with some very heavy riffing. But if you want vocals, then check out Bushido. Of course, you can watch both of them at the Cruz del Sur Music YouTube channel. So definitely digging the epic doom here, and the vocals are decently strong. But I'd like to hear the whole album first before making a decision. Otherwise, good stuff. And also on February 23rd, expect the third studio album from formerly Canadian and now international heavy metal band Traveler. This is Prequel to Madness to be released by No Remorse Records. As of the time of this video, the vinyl variants for this title have not been announced, but they are planning to release the album on the vinyl format. In fact, I wrote the band and got that info directly from them. So definitely keep a lookout for those. Anyways, music video available for Heavy Hearts. It's a totally up-tempo and rockin' track with some killer soaring vocals along the lines of Alder era Fate's Warning in the 80s. Anyways, find the music video at the No Remorse Records YouTube channel. So the lead track is pretty great, actually. I already have the other albums from this band, and I gave those favorable reviews, so I can't imagine I won't at least stream this one when it comes out. Maybe I'll even buy it. As for reissues on vinyl, we've got two Cryptic Slaughter albums, both Money Talks and Convicted, now available from Relapse Records. Also now available are three reissues for Warbringer, which are Waking Into Nightmares, Worlds Torn Asunder, and Four Empires Collapse, all put out by M Theory Audio and available on Bandcamp, among other places. And also available will be a reissue of Escape to Nowhere from Omen and in three vinyl variants from Metal Blade Records. So not a lot this month that's immediately grabbing me personally, though the upcoming releases from Morbid Saint, Iron Curtain, and Traveler are certainly standouts for me. But maybe you feel differently. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to. Also, if you're excited about a release that I hadn't mentioned, you should let me know about that as well. Give me the band, the album, and the release date. Would definitely love to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, but maybe also share it. You could also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I'd definitely appreciate that. And if you're new here, just so you know, my name is Matt. This is the Accusation Network where each and every week I do videos on classic and modern metal, as well as metal vinyl collecting. If that sounds really cool, definitely go through my playlists and watch all of my shows. Well, watch some of them. Watch all of them later. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching, and come back next month for even more metal vinyl releases.